Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? Mrs. Livingstone, thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! Oh, a cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, ah, ah! Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah, Precisely. Yeah, and that's why Donald yeah. isn't sneezing. And why his highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddles! <laughs> you got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. <laughs> Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Uh, why not? I like the 
cat groove. Because he's gonna figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't wanna go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're gonna have rain every day. <laughs> Let them play together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog. <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go. <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey, giddy up. If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? is enough. Come on, let's go play doctor. <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy. You're going to ruin my kid again. <laughs> Washington, stop it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How oh, I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Way 
brighter than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to catch you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, hey, thing. your paw! Hurry up! Uh. Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry, a deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. Jesus served. Sam? <laughs> get it, Sam, get it! that mouse. Do you think he's sick? Oh. <laughs> It'll be fine, darling. Everything's okay. Breathe deep. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Sam, what was that about? You're supposed to be a cat, and cats are supposed to chase mice. They love doing that. Chase mice? Are you crazy? They run way too fast. All cats chase mice, I'm telling you! If you don't, the Living Stones might start wondering about that and realize that you're not a real cat. Are you sure? Yes, and if they found that out, you know what would happen. We'd be forced to return to the forest, condemned to endless wandering in cold and darkness. <laughs> As for acting like a cat, Sam's far from winning the Academy Award. But for the worst melodramatic lead, you've got a good chance, Washington. Cool it, Vic. You couldn't understand. Nothing to panic about. I just have to revise our cohabitation contract with Biscuit. Biscuit? Biscuit, the mouse. He leaves the Living Stones alone, and in exchange, I give him a hefty piece of cheese every year, according to delivery. You do? Why don't you just pounce on him and chase him off and all that? Why should I? The Living Stones provide us with delicious kibble three times a day. Okay, should we do the usual? This year, Swiss cheese or Parmesan? Both. Both? Are you kidding? It's complicated enough finding one single piece of quality cheese. You want two? Hmm, I think you have a big problem on your paws in any case. So what do you mean, big? A cat who prefers cheese to mice? Bizarre, no? Mm, not in the least. I myself am tempted at times by a bit of blue cheese or cheddar. That's right, at times. The only explanation I can come up with is that creature is not a real cat. 
<laughs> this guy here, not a cat? Ridiculous! Sam is definitely a cat. Oh, and quite some cat, too. Right, Sam? You're a cat, aren't you? Meow! Meow right now! <laughs> Meow? <laughs> like I said, perhaps someone ought to open the living stone's eyes to this problem. <laughs> What's that? Let's just say if I happen to be in the right place at the right time, I could show them that their darling little cat doesn't behave like a real cat at all. <laughs> they might end up understanding. You wouldn't dare. I've already disposed of bigger dudes than this. How do you mean big? Let's not get all worked up about this. Surely we can find some common ground on the subject. Anyway, one piece of cheese, two pieces of cheese. <laughs> what difference does it make? Cats do not make deals with mice. The matter is closed. If you want me, you won't find me. We can't just wait around and do nothing. Biscuit has threatened to reveal our secret without warning. We have no choice. We must teach Sam to chase mice. Yay, why me? Because you're the cat. And we'll have the same problem every time a mouse sneaks into this house. <laughs> Susie, you be the mouse. Run and don't stop until Sam catches you. Here we go! <laughs> what are you doing? Since we're about to be evicted, I'm taking advantage of the TV one last time. A hunter among hunters. The leopard can remain hidden for a very long time. A very, very long time. Sam, you are a genius! Okay, running isn't your strength, but waiting around without doing anything at all, that is your specialty. And? And so we just have to use the leopard method. Wait in ambush for Biscuit. Maybe we should just give Biscuit what he wants. <laughs> like cheese? And where do we find loads of cheese? Don't know! In the garbage! Listen carefully, Sam. There are three rules. Reactivity, reactivity, and most of all, whatever happens, reactivity. Mm, can you repeat the second one? <laughs> as soon as Biscuit appears, you grab him and toss him in the bag. Simplicity, efficiency, reactivity. I get it. Things are going to reactivity. Yeah. Grab Biscuit, put him in your bag. Reactivity. Grab Biscuit, reactivity. Hi, dude. How are things? <laughs> Not bad, thanks. Just kind of hungry. Otherwise, great. Hey, I was just about to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Want me to bring you one? That is so cool! Thank you! <laughs> gotcha! I had my doubts, but this is so obvious. You are not a cat! Yay! Yay! Not so fast, rat face! <laughs> Hurry, Sam! You gotta catch him! <laughs> with stale Swiss cheese for the rest of my years. They don't know who they're up against. Better now? Do you feel calmer? No, I do not. I will when those two so-called cats get rid of that disgusting rodent. <laughs> yeah. Hurry, Sam! Now's the time to be more cat-like than all the cats in the world put together. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be happening. Yeah? What is wrong with this cat? Can't even catch a mouse? Where's Victoria? Hey, it's just a 
a matter of time before the Living Stones realize that you're not a real tot. Fancy a piece of cheese? <laughs> I'm begging you, Vic. Help us. Cats do not make deals with mice. If you don't help us, we're done for. You've got to teach Sam how to chase mice. Sam is at a breaking point, Vic. That mouse threatens to reveal his true identity at any moment. That guy can't sleep. Just look at him. He's a zombie. Well, the zombie sure has an appetite. <laughs> what Sam needs to catch Biscuit, I mean, apart from endurance, style, and technique, is a motive. What do you mean? What motive? If you can come up with a very good reason for him to go after that stupid mouse, he will. <laughs> a motive. Motivation. Get it? Aha! I'm not so sure this is a good idea, darling. I'm not gonna sit around and do nothing until our cats decide to take action. Look what I found, Sam! Your favorite cookies! Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna give you one. I wonder if you really, really want one. <laughs> well, in that case, I could give you the whole packet. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes! But only if you manage to catch Biscuit. Then you can eat all of these cookies. <laughs> Boy, Sam! Gone for good? Nice work, Mr. Cat. We did it! We found some cheese! We're saved! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <laughs> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go boot-licking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Mm, 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 mm. A 
elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 As a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washington! Washington! So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Don't back, even think of it. <laughs> oh, look at Daddy's cute little doggy. <laughs> Take this off. <gasps> you, sweetie pie. Yes! Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yes, Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the Living Stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington, my slippers! Wash, what has that meant to you? Washington, please! Sam, go down. tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs! And make her give me my costume back, please! Wash, you bad dog! 
Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your ru Washington, calm down! No! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're gonna leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Washington, no, I mean, uh, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Oh. Uh-oh! Things are getting way out of hand! We better go warn Wash! What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know! They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen! You gotta stop bugging Vic! She's really mad! There's gonna be trouble! Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh! We better get your costume back! I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Meow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this. But for the safety of all of us, we must call the Animal Pound, honey. It's our duty. No! This is the end! Wait! What if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Yovetovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, you genie. So smell them. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns, so I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic, it happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking, there must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess, I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course! It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
but the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mmm, oysters for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will, will you know, know how, how to find this jewel of feline courage deep inside you, little wild boy? <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Oh, no! Not the TV! Oh, no! My best! Best friend. But that's way too dangerous. The Living Stones will surely find out. The last few times it was already risky enough. Christ, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, didn't there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap. Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <gasps> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh. by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! Mm -hmm. It'll never work. Mm -mm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. Mm -hmm. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. <laughs> we're going to go play in the yard. See you later. <sighs> it's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are going to scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the forest. <laughs> 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 Was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV. That's because I'm stressed out. Moments like this, the only right thing works to calm me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain, at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha-ha! What ha-ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> 
girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. No oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stressed. No, Sam, Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. <laughs> Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest that they came. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. <gasps> what? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. Yes, you're not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. Same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash has been taking for a ride. Four, Can't you see that five, Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitchell never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? Oh no, don't tell me that. I'm gonna start to stress. <laughs> All is lost. Mitch is going to take over my place at the Living Stones, and I'm going to spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriends who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? Susie? Eugenie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no. We're too young, remember? We can't have ideas. Of course you can. And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Mitch's middle name, because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam, go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch my TV! No, oh, no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! Ah! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam, find him something to eat immediately! 
there's nothing left. Somebody ate everything in the house. And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way, I swear. Uh, uh, I'll go look in the oven. They didn't find anything. What? <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm going to eat your friend's costume and take yours. And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat. It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The, the day you will have vanquished your fear, your fear is the, the day, day that Mitch, Mitch shall, no shall no longer be a danger, danger to you. you. Again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Whoa! You were like a like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat. And cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's that's the forest. No! Water, Sam! Cats are only afraid of water! But thanks anyway. Oh, honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. And next time, vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome! You think he wants to surprise the Living Stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no! Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. Duh! I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the Living Stones a surprise? No, yeah! Yeah! You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh no, no, no! Not our costumes! No! So that wasn't the plan then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one too! And me! No, they're not groovy at all. Quick, we have to wash our costumes straight away. <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day. Yeah. We're back already. Oh, those spots. What are they? Honey, come quickly. I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease. Ah, you're hideous. Quick, let's get the events. <laughs> <laughs> How troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Yeah, yeah. Hear that, Wash? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. Yeah, we're here. Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welba won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. How does it work? <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. They have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> Put on a pair of gloves. <sighs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Well done, Vladimir. Uh, Don't move. I'll go see who it is. Vladimir! Uh? Hiya, buddies. What? How on earth Here did you... Here we go. Mission accomplished. Your day is coming at last, Vladimir. A cute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens. Fame and glory will be yours, all yours! Gl glory Oh, Velma! Come on! We're organizing a press conference within the hour, and we're gonna show the world and its greatest specialists what this extremely dangerous virus is about! An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've got to get out of here and fast. <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage is a lock like mine. All you have to do is push it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so did that put me in a special cage? But if you'll lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm? I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Hmm? 
But you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat. Meow, meow. And I hate dogs. Uh, everything okay there, buddy? <laughs> Like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's going crazy! I'm not a dog and I'm not crazy! What's going on, Wilma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah, they're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Duty is calling, Vladimir! Your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now! Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man and show some guts! You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. <laughs> easy now, easy! You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a. Sam! Don't give away our secret! A uh, cat! Hey! I'm actually a cat too! Meow! Meow! Yeah! So are we! Meow! Meow! Have you all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined! Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tails. A dog? I hate dogs! <laughs> Video conference activated. Hello? 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 <laughs> what just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three... Two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Honey, look how they play together. Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is it acorns that grow into acorn trees? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah! A tooth tree! 
<laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? what? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense! Yeah! I lost a tooth two months ago and Biscuit never <laughs> came with the slightest gift. Ah! Could be your tooth was too boring for him. Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Wow! Better tooth fairy. Here, sis. Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. <laughs> and one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. Twenty kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, ten kilos and no muscle. Fifteen. Twelve kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be right back. Wow. Twelve kilos of cheese and half a muscle. Eugenie got totally ripped off, and we've got the proof now. I'm gonna make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> Well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that it's going right on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. It's half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we tried to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. <laughs> What's all that racket? I believe you have something that belongs to us. Hey, you 
looks like a tooth. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. It's for your own good, you know. You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings. <laughs> Uh, listen, honey, the easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. He'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? <laughs> now, given the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> if the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's gonna tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's gonna be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Hmm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, hmm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie, you could get it by flying through the window. So I can get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I Wash, I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Voila! Whoa! Awesome catapult! Susie, get in position! Sir, yes, sir! Everyone ready? <laughs> Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero! Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero! <laughs> Zero! <laughs> Zero! Zero! Harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I will stop helping. Washington? What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, uh, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse. Uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuits at me. Huh? A dog fairy mouse? Yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? Your present? Oh, yeah, uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Oh, you know, the usual. Art of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? Uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Livingstones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. In exchange for the tooth, I'll give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. Huh? You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think Wash will be back soon? I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey! It's better than a clothespin, no? <laughs> you can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? Uh-oh! I think another tooth is loose! Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. 
So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguise as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Don't tell me I don't know how to play soccer! Goal! No go! No go! No go! No go! You were lucky, that's all. Bring the ball back here and I'll show you who's the star! I don't know why I should go fetch it. You're the one who kicked it! But, Eugenie, you touched the ball last, so you have to go fetch it. There's nothing to be done about it. It's the rule. Okay, if it's the rule. <laughs> hey, that's a foul! Nonsense! That was no foul! It's not my fault if you don't like the rules. You see, Eugenie, town games are like that, okay? It's not like in the forest where you can do whatever you like. Well, sometimes I wish I was back in the forest. She's been to the forest? She's the one. She's our supreme guide. Sweetie Pies, it's dinner time. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the forest for dinner? Come on, it doesn't matter. It's only a game. Go, that wretched dog. As soon as the Supreme Guide returns, we'll move into action. settle this with a carrot tossing contest. If I win, you go and Eugenie stays with us. If I lose, Eugenie goes with you if she feels like it, okay? Okay. I'm gonna show you what real carrot tossing is about. Watch and learn. <laughs> Oh, with carrot tossing like that, Eugenie won't be going anywhere. Thanks, Wash. Up we go, comrades. But hey, but that's cheating. 
kidding. You're not allowed yes, to... Yes, you are. I know carrot tossing rules all by heart. So, where are we going? To a wondrous, beautiful place. We'll explain later. Not in front of that dumb dog. See you soon, guys! Hey, but Eugenie, you, you can't just abandon your big brother like that. Leave it, Sam. If Eugenie prefers to go off with cheats... You're the one who couldn't stop cheating yesterday, Wash. And you deserve to be abandoned all on your own. No. Try coming along. I want to join your pure relief thing with you. You should join the LLRI instead. The League for Lousy Rabbit Impersonators. <laughs> <laughs> Comrades, let me present Stitch and Harry. Together, we form the PBLF, the Pet Bird Liberation Front. Can we come with you? Pigeons are pets. Come on, that's enough. Let's go. Hang on, they're my best friends. Show a bit of respect. Hmm. All right. They may come with us. The most important thing is the happiness of our Supreme yeah. Guide. So where are we going? To the oh. forest, the land of freedom. Huh? The forest? But the forest isn't the land of freedom. It's the worst place on Earth. It's very dangerous. There are terrifying predators everywhere. There is no worse predator than human beings who live in towns. The forest is our salvation. There's no way I'm going to the forest. You are our Supreme Guide, the only one here who has been to the forest. I beg you, please take us there. Without you, we can never make our dream come true. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. There you go, we're there. Here's the forest. Wow, I love it. Everything is so natural here. We mustn't hang around here for long. We might bump into Mitch. He's right. If he sees us, the gruesome grizzly will never let us go back to town. <laughs> Thank you, Eugenie. Thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Could you take us somewhere with a bit more light, please? It's a bit dark around here. Hmm. Here, is this okay? Awesome. Comrades, at last we are free. <laughs> oh, this little trip has given me an appetite. When do we get to eat? Uh, see, in the wild, you have to go foraging for food yourselves. Thank you dearly, Eugenie, for taking care of it. But you've got to learn to get by without me. We've already voted. You're taking care of dinner. What's all that stuff? Why aren't there carrots on the menu? Because carrots don't grow in the forest. Anyway, it's your problem. We're going home. Never. You are our supreme guide. You are staying with us. If you go, we'll come after you. We know where you live. Get it? The PRLF never gives up. So, go find us some carrots and get a move on. <laughs> Go back to the Living Stones. It's all my fault. I should have never gone along with them. But you were to know, and I'll never abandon you. A chicken canary never deserts her friend. Me neither. But maybe I might just head back to the Living Stones at some point to fetch some. Shut up! Wash! Yeah? I've been trailing you, Eugenie. Zip off your costume and show the PRLF you're not a rabbit. When they discover that you're not their supreme guide, they'll let you go. Wash! Start cheating again when we get back to the living stones. Hmm. Look! I'm not a real rabbit! I cannot be your supreme guide! Ah! That weird creature has devoured our supreme guide! The lousy rabbit impersonator was right! The forest is full of evil predators! Run away! Not before we retrieve the hide of our supreme guide! Rally round, PRLF! They've stolen my costume! I'm done for! I'll have to stay in the forest forever! No way! This is a mission for the PBLF! Hurry up! They're after us! Squadron information! 
Monica. You okay? Hey, yeah. how about that? <gasps> nice to see you, pals. Thanks, Susie, and thank you, friends. You are awesome. That's your service, Bab. At the PVLF, we stick together. See you soon. Okay, feel like getting back to the Living Stones? There's a soccer match on TV. We can check out the rules. Well, I never. What an incredible punch. Christopher has just floored his opponent. See? No foul. You can tell I'm not cheating. Of course you're cheating. We're watching a boxing match, not a soccer match. Isn't Gustav, Angelica, and Guinevere got away? Don't worry, little sis. At this time of day, I'm sure they're tucked up nice and warm at home with their masters. You'll see. The four of us are going to have a ball. I'll take very special care of you. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Guys, want to play with the flying disc? Fresh air would do you a world of good. You've been sitting in front of the TV for hours. And what? Yeah. Aw, oh, Sam, I knew I could count on you, dude. Can you move over a little? You're blocking the screen. Huh? Oh. I bet there's a way I can play with the flying disc by myself. You just have to be sly. Like a fox, in fact. I can't play by myself, can I? Come on, guys! Sports are essential for your health! A dog's need for exercise varies from one race to another. For example, certain hunting dogs are true sprinters, just like foxes. Because, of course, these two animals are members of the same family, the canine family. Although our domestic dogs... <gasps> Did no you hear that? Wild, I'm a cousin to dogs! That explains why I need to go outside and run all the time! In fact, our family is quite athletic. Speaking of outside, how about going there right now? I still haven't completed my 14-hour sleep cycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I get it. If that's the way it is, I'm going outside to play by myself. <gasps> Good idea! We can watch TV and pee! <laughs> you guys deserve each other. The bunch of you. I'm beginning to think that my dog cousins are the only ones who truly understand me. Excellent! Go on outside and play with your cousin! All right then! Fine! I am going outside to play with my cousin! Who's he going to play with? His cousin. <laughs> hey! Hi there, Alvarez. How you doing? It's been such a long time since we've seen each other. You're sure looking good today. Are you making fun of me? Not in the least. I just wanted to spend some time with you because I just realized that we've got loads of things in common. Right, cousin? We may be cousins, but my tongue doesn't hang out like yours. Hey, uh, how about we play a game of flying disc together? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I've had more than my share of exercise this morning. Oh, I see. A little later, maybe? But anyway, is there anything you need? You know, you can ask me for anything you like. Anything? I can ask you for anything? <laughs> Between dogs and fox... Uh, uh, I mean, dog and dog, you know. Like, do a cartwheel? 
Yeah, cartwheel. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Anything else? And what about a worm? I hop on your tail. Okay, Wash, you and I are going to spend a little time together. Wash? Yoo-hoo! Where are you? In fact, we want to play with the flying disc with you after all. So, after this, cousin, how about we play that game of flying disc? Shush! Massage is about relaxation. Ah, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. I'm often told that I talk too much. That's something I don't actually notice, you know, given that I never stop talking. <laughs> Wash is giving Alvarez a massage. He calls him cousin. He looks really happy just being with him. All oh, this is because we didn't want to play with the flying desk. Why is Wash calling Alvarez cousin? I'd be extremely worried if I were you. Alvarez is a manipulator, and he's going to take advantage of Washington's generosity. This is going to go very wrong in the end. Ah, it's a catastrophe! Wash is abandoning us! <laughs> what do we do, Sam? What do we do? Uh, we ask Wash. He's the one who thinks of plans. Uh, no, uh, we change channels. No, we take a nap. You'll do everything you can to get Wash out of Alvarez's clutches. Yeah, that's it, exactly what I wanted to say. So now I'll leave you to it. Uh, I have several naps to catch up on. Wash, there you are. Cousin Alvy needed to go indoors to cool off, so I suggested he come here to the house. Afterwards, we're gonna play with the flying disc, right, cuz? And so, you guys are all done with your TV marathon? Yeah, and we wanted to get you out of Alvarez's club. Uh, to get outside and play with the flying disc! Yuck! Don't tell me you actually eat this revolting discount kibble. Ugh. Well, what? He's an aristocratic dog. He's used to luxury. <laughs> yeah, too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Not bad. Oh, it's rather hot in here, isn't it? Could you give me some air? <laughs> Faster! Not so fast! You wash you! We need to talk! I haven't got time! Cousin Alvarez is waiting outside to play flying disc with me! You've got to get rid of him! He's just using you! No, he's not! Alvarez is really sweet! That's just because you don't know him very well! And anyway, he's my cousin. Family is special. But we're your family. Ta! You guys, you're my friends. But he's family. And he's always willing to play flying disc with me. <laughs> Wash! I haven't got all afternoon for this game. Aha! <laughs> See, just like I told you, he's a magnificent flying disc player. He's hopeless. Even Sam plays better. Affirmative. <laughs> Whoosh! I'm coming, Alvy! <laughs> Looks like Alvarez has made a real lapdog out of you. Pooey, you're just jealous. Yeah! <laughs> we just wanted you to realize that we're the ones who are your real friends. Alvarez is my cousin. I know I can trust him. And I'm going to prove that by telling him I'm actually a fox. Wait and see. He'll accept me for what I am. What do we do? Yeah. Okay. No TV. No naps. Give me a couple of seconds. I'm thinking. You stop Wash from revealing his secret to Alvarez. Exactly. I love it. Alvarez, uh, there's something I have to tell you. The truth is, I'm actually... Alvarez! Uh, 
<laughs> Go fetch! Oh. <laughs> Alvarez! Alvarez! What I was trying to tell you... What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just see who has the last word on this! Wash? You okay, Wash? How about watching a movie? Yeah, why not? You guys were right about Alvarez. Oh no! It's Alvarez! What am I gonna tell him? Hey, how about we hide? That way, if he doesn't find us, he'll just leave. Yeah! Wash is back to his old self! Good idea! Let's hurry! He's almost here! <laughs> Wash? Aha! Uh -huh. Here you are, Alvarez. Great timing. I was waiting for you. Oh, no! He tricked us. Now he's going to tell Alvarez everything. Then we'll have to return to the forest again, to the cold and the rain. Goodbye, <laughs> TV. <laughs> so listen, I'm actually, uh... Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, what? This could be our last chance to listen to TV. It's true that dogs and foxes are very close species. One can see this in their similar physical traits. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Foxes have nothing to do with dogs. We are far, far more advanced than those inferior wild animals. What? What do you mean, inferior? A fox's vision and sense of smell is far more developed than that of a dog. Excuse me? Huh? Zero hygiene, zero poise, zero class. Foxes are the very last species on the planet I deign to frequent. I'd rather befriend a pigeon. At least they know how to hold their heads up when they walk. What? So, what was it you wanted to tell me? What I wanted to say was, go fetch, doggy woggy! Who wants to play with a flying disc? I could think of an activity that everyone here would like. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstones' house. It's blatantly obvious. 
And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me, and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Think! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase. <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix, your 24-7 emergency pest control solution. Huh? Oh, row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 row. What's got into you? That's enough, Washington. Row, 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 row. Whoa, 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 row, row, row. Honey, whoa, can't whoa, you see whoa. he wants to play? All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, whoa, little whoa, doggy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. Row, 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 row. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? Ah! The mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello? Exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. <laughs> Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I work for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild animal fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How uh, about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Well, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? 
You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest! It is partly your fault, too, if you hadn't woken up the Living Stones. What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass, get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on, and if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's... it's... it's worse! A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species! It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor! It's disgusting! I've never smelled anything like it! Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls, you really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it. It won't matter. There's no danger for you. You're just a standard issue pet cat. Standard issue, huh? I see. The answer is no. <sighs> I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face with <gasps> cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please have mercy, not the seven-year chabashoo. <laughs> A new odor. What is it? It's it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist. That's enough. What's going on? Let us in. Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now everyone, head for shelter. <laughs> Victory! Oh, I've got you now, you vile, unidentified creature with your putrid odor. Thanks to you, I'll be famous again. I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something, yeah? <laughs> Mm. This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. There we 
go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. Hey, Vic, there you are. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shh! Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh. Darling, look! Vic's up there! Get down from there right this minute! treatment for me this year. Hey guys, look, a cat. You know what that means? Party, party, party! Interesting. What's up with this? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! <laughs> I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out. Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff. Ouch! And they protect you from fleas. Stop! Well, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! Yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip, we'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. All right, honey, I got the road map. And the donkeys. Tough, tough, silly of me. Huh? Huh? What's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
But we're gonna find out. <laughs> what an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. Yes. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Yeah, but Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey! Vic, you're a genius! <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? Nothing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor. We all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Oops. Be careful, Sam. Believe it, what kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Suite, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. Uh, the animals! <laughs> Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. All with nice warm fur. And it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Moving out. Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. Yeah. You know you heard it, right? <gasps> it's the vet. Quick, let's get out of here. What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go. Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home! Thank you for all the good times we had! We're home! We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. 
The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night, and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. But the good news is, we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. Yeah. Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets. Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, it's you, Hadley. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey! What a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament! <laughs> no way! Never! Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost? Lost? And that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. A taste oh. of what? <laughs> We didn't do anything, Vic. We're totally innocent. <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's, like, so pretty. Oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Oh. <laughs> Meow! Louder! Meow! Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Uh, no time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for cat versus cat. Oh, right! The tournament! Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy, you know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley? Hey, that's enough! Back to rehearsing, Nugget! <laughs> I know exactly how we're gonna get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how 
want to fight? It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive. Okay, let's test you out. Awesome! Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline. <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew. All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament. I say, who's the strongest, the awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Yes, 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 yes. Who is going to turn his opponents into mushy cat food? No one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, OK? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. Yeah! Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh! No! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life! And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam! Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! That was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow! <laughs> Why do you like me? Meow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. <laughs> Whoa, now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course! Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? <laughs> Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Now, 
qualified for the final. Yeah! Yeah! This victory is the victory of teamwork. Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go. Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever. The huh? The last round of cat versus cat or another into the lane. We're gonna win for sure. <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! <laughs> Seconds timeout. We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't me out. What are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. Where's my golden ball? Hey, Victoria, can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. Victoria, <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! <laughs> wow! Silly! What do we do with the real costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cause the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> the magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful! Uh -oh. Quick! Everyone outside! <laughs> Just in time. This is worse than super glue. Uh, if this 
continues, the neighbors are gonna get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. <laughs> Uh-oh. Costumes. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second. Mm, that's a radish, not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the? That's us. <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried. Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me. Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Susie! <laughs> 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 not a dodo bird! Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! <laughs> There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> <laughs> Disasters! And our reputation is shot! All that work we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke! This time we're gunners! It's back to the forest! <laughs> no! No way are we gonna let them take over our lives! Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of! Yeah! We're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird! This time you've gone too far, raccoon! Hey, guys! I think these bozos didn't quite catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets! They're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things 
Everything's better now, darlings. We're going to let you get some rest now. Poor guys. I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Think we're gonna let you choose channels? Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons. They stole our costumes. You've got to help us. Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. And what's more, the living stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the bath robot enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? My heart is wavering. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. Only 137 more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. Oh. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Just feeding our lovable little fur balls. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> <laughs> you weren't thinking of. But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. 
So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Dick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. Alvarez, what have you done to him, you maniac? No, it's not Alvarez. It's our master's own Zip Zip. Hilarious, huh? Whoa, awesome. It's just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez Jellyfish Stubby Nose. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Sam, go on. Tell us what his majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink. Do you ever think to wash your mouth under his my fur? Okay. I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? <laughs> I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst, you can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished cat nap to complete. Ah. Ah. What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. Mm. Uh, what are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh. Elmo, <laughs> satisfied now? Of course! Ho 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 ho! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Doc, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is. It is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! Hey, my costume! Where's it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. <gasps> what happened to your legendary sense of humor? 
Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Hmm? Oh, no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez. Alvarez? Yes. I've got to talk to Victoria. It's urgent. <laughs> was an Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird. He must know how to put an end to this curse. What if it contaminates us? We'll start barking, too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, animal pal. Alvarez is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> Wala -la -la -la! the lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. What I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way. Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. <laughs> your clone is upon us. <laughs> Oh, is that me? I I don't believe it. It's me, but I'm me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! It's my costume. Oh, with this heat, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we put it in the kitchen? 
Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Whoa! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog! Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So? I can hear her scratching her litter box. We'll be out in a second. And Sam? Still nothing. Hmm. Whoa! One minute, 13 seconds! Vic did all her business in one minute, 13 seconds! You are awesome! And I can do even better than that. One time, I stayed in there less than a minute. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Three hours, 45 minutes? He's never stayed so long in his litter box? I can't believe it! Do girls realize that Sam is gonna beat his own world record? So? Oh, three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds! You just beat your record! Way to go, amigo! Yeah! Back in the forest, I won the contest to see which wild boar could do the biggest... Hey, darling, it's me! And who's the big package for? It's for Sam! Ta-da! Your potty is ready, Sam! With this, you'll be able to use the toilet like a human being! And it will save us from having to empty your litter box several times a day. It will certainly be useful, but do you think Sam will manage? <laughs> of course he will, honey. Sam is very smart. <laughs> Amazing! The Las Vegas Electronics Show. Now this is a program for me. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? You have to go to the bathroom! Uh, again? Sam, you just spent exactly three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds in the toilet. It's because of Mr. Livingstone's pet potty. Just thinking about it stresses me out, and when I'm stressed out, I have to go to the bathroom. Come on, Sam. I'm sure it'll work just fine. It's pretty obvious it's not you who has to use the pet potty. It's super complicated. There's a sort of pan where you put your paws just above a hole with water, and I don't understand a thing. Listen, Sam, if it's that bad, go in your old litter box. Then you can just flush the toilet to make the living stones think that you were on the pet body like a good cat and you're home free. Thanks, Wash. You're the best. No, no, no. No more litter box. Now you're going to go to the potty like a big cat. How does this thing work? <laughs> there, you can do your business now, Sam. New technology serving human needs. <sighs> what if just for once they thought of animal needs? <laughs> what, you missed the hole? <laughs> way, way worse. I didn't do anything at all. The living stones watch me to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But to do that, I have to unzip the back of my costume. And if the living stones see that, they'll discover that I'm not a real cat. Don't worry, Sam. We're going to help you. But do you mind waiting until my show's over? If they're rolling the end credits, okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be too risky. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to play ball there, Washington? Honey, I'm going outside to play ball with Washington. Right. What are you doing here, you little rascals? 
Mine stopped for sale. Quick! What? Why did he stop playing? Do you think he did his business? Mm -mm. Don't worry, honey. It's his first time. It's normal. It may take a while. Ah. Sam's not moving. His costume must be open in the rear. I've got an idea. Get yourselves ready to go button up Sam's costume. <laughs> doesn't seem to be getting used to it. I really feel like that pet body is a failure. Perhaps he simply has a shy bladder. Maybe he freezes up when he knows people are watching him go to the bathroom? With this little camera, Sam won't know he's being watched and will be able to verify that he's learning to use the pet potty. I could never forgive myself if it's too hard for him. Why, Mr. Livingstone, you think of everything. Yeah. Can you lend me your litter box, please? I already had to stop a fake dog from doing number one in it. There's certainly no way a fake cat is going to do a number two. Don't worry, Sam. Don't listen. We don't need her. Just do it discreetly in the yard like dogs do. But Wash, I'm a cat. What about feline honor and all? Sam, must I remind you that you are first and foremost a wild boar? And that is exactly what the Livingstones are going to find out if you don't wake up. It's true. I suppose the yard isn't that bad after all. Thanks, Wash. It works! Voila! Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. <laughs> At least no one will see me up there. Doing. <laughs> Man, are you nuts or what? You disgusting pig! You know what this reminds me of? That sublime French film from the 60s. Oh, come on, honey. You know that film where you broke your nodding off record by falling asleep after only five minutes? Uh, two years ago at Barry and Matt's? Exactly. Except that here, when Sam finally shows up, the film is going to become exciting. Joe, I'm a goner! It's impossible for me to find a quiet place! The yard is even worse than the forest on the first day of the hunting season! There are crowds everywhere! Wait a bit, Sam. When the sun goes down, everyone will leave to I go. I can't hold it in! I'm gonna use the pet body and tough luck if the living stones catch me and I have to go back and live in the forest as the wild boar that I really am. Farewell, dogs, cats, canaries, and beloved TV. We can't leave him like this. Wash, you've got to do something. Of course. Listen, we're going to dig a secret bathroom under the sofa for Sam and build a sewage system that will connect to the elves' bathroom. Then we'll activate the toilet flush by tinkering around with the remote control Wouldn't after it having... Wouldn't be a whole lot easier to just turn off the camera in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. Sorry, Nick. I've got no choice. Ow! Nick, I'm begging you. Your litter box is the only place I can do my business without the camera seeing me. If you agree, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll offer you my treasure chest of chestnuts. That's sweet of you, Sam. But it's a no. Hmm. Nick, wait a minute. I've got something for you. No means no! What in the world is he doing? How about we go watch TV instead? Besides, we'll get a warning when Sam climbs onto the pet potty. You left the alarm on, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> but, but where's Sam? If he's not here, that means he didn't climb onto the pet potty. So we still have a chance to save him by turning off the camera before he comes back. Uh, how do you turn this thing off? 
No idea. Hold on, I'm coming. What if I let you choose the TV programs for a week? Nope. You meant? Uh, no. What about forever? Um, okay, it's a deal. <laughs> you can use my litter box, but just this once. <laughs> what in the world are you doing? Stop that right now, it's dangerous. You've got it all wrong, Vic. What's dangerous for Sam is that camera pointed at the pet potty. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, new technology is not only here to serve humans, but also animals. And to prove it, here is a self-cleaning litter oh. box, which not only allows happy cat owners everywhere to stop cleaning out litter boxes, but it can also be delivered in one minute flat anywhere in the world. Wow, exactly what we need for Sam. But why? Sam is going to master the pet potty, honey. I'm 100% sure of it. Why, it's just a question of minutes. Right, honey. A self-cleaning litter box delivered in a minute sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> Come on, honey. Let's give Sam some privacy this time. <laughs> With all the excitement around here, the Livingstones didn't even think to fix my broken litter box. I'm the one who should have gotten the self-cleaning box. Why don't you ask Sam? I'm sure he'll let you use it. So I can die asphyxiated? No, thank you very much. Anybody know how to get out of this thing? Oh, rats! Sam is stuck! How do we open this thing? Let the pro handle this. High tech is my middle name. Oops. Maybe that wasn't the right button. <gasps> ah! Whoa! This is the best invention of all time! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today and... Hey guys, come see this! What? what? I just had an amazing idea for a game! <sighs> <sighs> just wait! Sorry, Eugenie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dive. While chasing this car. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the where they Don't change channels! Food. Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey! How about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm gonna need your help. <sighs> Nobody's interested in my game. UGD, you're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, wanna play in our documentary? Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk-on parts. <sighs> Everybody in position! And action! Mm -hmm. Vic, out of the way! You're hogging the mm -hmm. shot! So what? <laughs> Cut! That's great! Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can! Sorry, I 
had to do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> You, Didi, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours! Hey! You're not going to take your costume off, are you? Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? Uh, hear that, honey? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey! He's still a wild animal! No, look! He's totally harmless! You see? How about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. <laughs> so, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm going to take it off, too. Yeah, no, don't! Why not? Huh? I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie? We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I shall redeem the good name of wild boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. Yeah. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! Wash! Looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're gonna make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying disc to get buddy buddy. <laughs> Right, we'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and... okay, I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! Ooh. Ah! Shoot, what was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Catch! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Woe is me! Vic? You okay, Vic? Vic, talk to me, Vic! Oh, Who do you think you are, Acorn Brain? Don't try to get chummy with me. But I thought that... I was acting, you pea brain. Pure cinema. But if that's the way it is, do it yourself. 
Where's the little fox? Little fox? Little fox! Oh, there you are. You'll be famous. It's going to be amazing. A documentary about wild boars. All you have to do is pretend to... Yeah? his first breakfast. How sweet. I know. How cute would it be to adopt him a little friend? Oh, no! Hello, animal pal? <laughs> Sam, why did you do that? I wanted to get taken in and tamed like you. I want to be able to live the real me, too. You'll have all the time in the world to do that at the pound. They just arrived. Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. OK, but what about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> 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 You can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh, no! Our poor little fox! And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash? Washington! Wash! Yeah! Don't sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting him out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. You have the suits? Huh? Yeah. Come on, start now, will you? <laughs> Oh, you see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound. Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't stop channels! Be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pet. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just ask it! No! No!